Hello and welcome back to the Looking Stylish YouTube channel. Today's video is all about my holiday capsule wardrobe. Um, in case I haven't made enough fuss about it, I'm off to Antigua and by the time you watch this video I will actually be there. But what I thought I'd do is put together um, the outfits that I'm going to be taking with me in a video for you. And then when I get back I'll put together a blog post with um, all the outfits that I wore, what I didn't wear, what perhaps didn't work out so well, what worked really really well um, and hopefully that will be useful for you if you're going to go on holiday somewhere hot. So without further ado let's get into the video. Okay so um, as usual what I've done is I've grouped all the items together, I've put accessories with them, um, I put the shoes that I'm going to be taking with me. What I've done is I've created a colour scheme, I've used black, white and orange and then there's a little bit of red as well. And I've also added in a few prints just to make things a little bit more interesting. So I will start with the swim and beach wear that I'm taking with me. Now it's years since I've actually had a beach holiday, um, so I have had to go out and buy a few bits. I did have a couple of swimming costumes, but I wanted um, some more sort of caftans and cover-ups and things like that. So starting with, um, I already had this swimsuit, which has got lovely bright corally colours, and I've added the caftan from Marks and Spencers. Um, in fact, the swimsuit was from Marks and Spencers, I think either last year or the year before as well. And Marks and Spencers do really good swimwear. It's great quality, it wears well, it's not too thin. They have the sort of secret control panel in the front of some of them as well. And I've had a lot of success with swimsuits from them. And the prices aren't bad either. So actually, all of the swimwear that I'm taking with me is from Marks and Spencers. And I don't do bikinis anymore, so I've actually got um, one pieces and I'm taking four with me. It's possibly a little bit excessive for a week, but I just think it's nice to have a fresh one on each day and then wash the one that you've been wearing. So the second one is this sort of black and white print one, and it's got kind of a crossover front and it pulls into the waist. So that gives a really nice shape. That crossover kind of disguises anything in the tummy area or the midriff area which you want to conceal. And then um, this is another new little sort of caftan type dress, which again I got from Marks and Spencers. £29.50, um, very much like some of the, say, the dodo bar or which are, you know, hundreds of pounds. And again, the swimming costume, I think, was either 29 50 or 35 so great prices. And then the last one, um, two black ones, which I already had one from Marks and Spencers last year and one from the year before. Again, um, one of them has got the sort of ruching down the side of it, which is really good control for um, controlling the shape. One of them has ruching down the side of it, which is really good for disguising a tummy and any lumps and bumps. And the other one I really like, it comes up quite high and it's got a little sort of metal detail in the neck here. And then um, to go with those, I bought this um, sarong, which is again from Marks and Spencers this year. They do do swimwear in this pattern as well, but as I already had the black one, um, and because orange was in my colour scheme, I thought that was a really good option to go for um, the black sarong, but with a little bit of a bright print on it. So that's the swim and beach wear. Now I'm contemplating taking a pair of shorts with me. I mean, I do have the caftans and the sarong for covering up during the day. Um, I'm not that keen on shorts. I know I did wear them last year. I did find these, again, Marks and Spencers, I think £17.50. Um, they did look quite nice on. They're quite sort of slim in the leg, so um, and they stop on a nice sort of narrow bit of my leg. So I will probably take those with me. And then with those, I, I'm literally just going to take two plain kind of linen effect T-shirts, one in white and um, one in red. So they're quite good for kind of throwing on when I'm you know, just relaxing, lounging around. 
and then um, moving on to day wear, we don't know what we're going to be doing yet. We might be out sightseeing a bit. We'll probably be spending some time on the beach as well. So obviously I've got the beach outfits for that. I've kind of put together at least an outfit for every day. I will probably reduce this when I come to pack it, but um, at the moment, these are the bits that I've got out. And typically what happens is when I'm packing, I think, no, I've got too much and I'll, I'll take something out. But again, I've kept with that um, black, white, orange or red and um, some prints in there as well. So the first piece, which um, is new, which I absolutely love, is this little dress from Morella. And um, it's got these sort of brown stripes down the side of it and these really cute little pockets on it. And I thought it went brilliantly with this um, pendant, which my husband bought for me one Christmas. And I also bought these great little tortoiseshell earrings to go with it. Um, now, it's going to be quite hot so this isn't too thick it's actually quite a nice thin linen but it's got a bit of structure to it so we'll see if it's too hot to wear something like that the next piece is a pair of cropped linen trousers in this lovely bright orange red they're elasticated at the back but they do have a zip at the front um, so they sit nice and flat on the front, but you have got that little bit of give, which if it's hot, it's nice to have that. And then with that, this top you will have seen before. Um, this was just a cheapy, cheapy one from Next. I think it was about £19 or something like that. But because it's that little bit longer and because it's viscose, it drapes beautifully. It's going to be easy to wash and wear. Uh, it's got the buttons down the front, back, sorry, which gives it a little bit more detail, makes it a little bit more interesting. And that will go with, obviously, with the orange trousers, but there are lots of other bits in this wardrobe that that will go with as well. So I've kind of put an outfit a day together, but things do interchange as well. The next piece is a pair of um, black and white trousers. Um, they have a completely elasticated waist. They're actually from Marks and Spencer's Beach Collection, but because they're a really lovely, lightweight, fine cotton, um, I will wear those during the day if we go out and it's really hot as well. And so they're gonna be really cool and really comfortable to wear. And um, with those, I've just popped this lovely, soft, um, it's kind of like a very soft, brushed cotton with a little bit of embroidery on the front of it and it's got that lovely kind of loose shape as well so if it's really hot that's going to be very comfortable to wear. I've popped these culottes in um, this might be one of the things that comes out when I actually pack um, again I wanted to have something that wasn't full I didn't really want trousers I wanted something that was shorter um, they're quite nice loose ones again they've got the elastic at the back so they sit really nice at the front um, and they will be cool and then obviously my Eileen Fisher camisole, which will go with so many other pieces. I mean, this would go with the trousers as well, the black trousers. Another old top, this one was from Pure Collection. I think it was two years ago now. And um, it, you can wear it off the shoulder or up on the shoulder because I find it really difficult to get a strapless bra. I tend to wear it up on the shoulders and it looks great like that. And I've just popped around there a little pair of earrings, a pair of shell earrings, which um, is one of the big trends this season, jewellery um, that has shells with it. So that top obviously will go with the black and white spot trousers. It will also go with the orange ones. It will also go with the um, black and white stripe ones. Another new sort of very holiday piece is this 
skirt. It's an easy pull on one. Um, it's got lovely floaty swish to it. And I think something like a white dress or a white skirt is great to take on holiday. Um, it's the kind of thing that I probably won't wear that much at home other than perhaps really hot days during the summer or going to a barbecue or something like that. But I just think this kind of thing is perfect if you're going somewhere like the Mediterranean or the Caribbean. Um, I think white looks fantastic. And then the final piece in here, um, which I will probably wear during the daytime, this might be one of the things that gets left behind, is my black daisy skirt. And again, all of the tops will go with that, the orange, the white, um, and the cream. And I've just popped on the front of there, I'm undecided yet about which day handbag to take. I've got this black and white one from Diane von Furstenberg. So I might take that one. Um, I might take this cream one from Capsule Accessories because it's really deceptive. It's got tons of space in it and it does have a shoulder strap as well. So that's probably quite good for um, wearing cross body when we're out sightseeing. Or the other option again is this one from Capsule Accessories which goes cross body in the black. So I'm not sure yet which one of those I'm going to take. So then um, moving on to evening pieces, which are on this side. Um, the first one is my Eileen Fisher silk jersey dress. It's just like a long tank dress, very, very simple. I wear it with this little sort of mesh top over the top of it, which looks really nice. I'm taking this evening bag with me and then to go with that, I'm taking my um, good old ash sandals, which will probably only last this summer because I have worn them to death. The next one, the trousers that you all loved that I wore in Dallas, but this time I'm pairing them up with um, this peach coloured top. I put a little sort of um, shell necklace on there, which has got the teal from the trousers in it as well. So that kind of picks up really nicely together. And I can either wear the um, ash sandals with them or I might wear these gold espadrilles. Um, now, if you saw my blog post a couple of weeks ago about um, the shoes for bunions, this is the other brand of Lisa K. So um, the Soul Bliss is one of their brands and this is their main brand, Lisa K. And they very kindly gifted me these as well. Um, they are amazingly comfortable. So I will probably wear those day and evening. So when we're out sightseeing, they're going to be really comfortable for walking. Um, but I will wear them in the evening as well. And then to go with that, I've got um, a gold handbag, which we'll come on to. So um, then this top, which I've mentioned before, it's a Maasai top. It kind of goes out wider at the bottom. It's really flattering to wear. I've paired that with some black and gold jewellery. And then I was planning on wearing these um, silk Eileen Fisher culottes with that. So those two pieces together. And then I will probably put the gold espadrilles with that and um, my gold handbag. But equally, I could use the um, cream with it. Then um, this says the gold handbag. Look, it will go with other bits and pieces. Um, this is just a little silk top with a button front um, from Eileen Fisher. I've put a little black necklace on that as well. And with that, I'm going to wear these Palazzo trousers, which I featured in my um, Can I Wear Trousers to a Wedding video. They're really old. Unfortunately, I can't link them for you, but um, I think I found something similar-ish that I put in the video last time. So uh, I will see if I find anything else that I could link for you as an alternative. But that's a really nice, relaxed evening outfit. Um, this good old favourite from Eileen Fisher, the long silk tunic top and um, the leggings and that I will wear with my cream pearls and with my um, cream sandals and handbag. 
then um, this, which I think you probably have seen before, this was an absolute bargain in um, an Eileen Fisher sale in London a couple of years ago. I think I got it for something like 30% of the original cost. Um, and the day that I bought it, it had another £10 off of it or something like that. So it was ridiculously inexpensive for Eileen Fisher. And it's beautiful. It's silk. It just moves really nicely. It's got little slits down the side. Um, it's I wear it as a tunic top over trousers and um, I've also worn it as a dress and so I was going to wear this as a dress in the evening and I bought this beautiful necklace which is from a brand called Adele Marie. Um, I just happened to see this and thought it would be absolutely perfect. Um, I bought it in Phoenix, and they do stock it in Phoenix. Um, they don't sell it online, but um, I will link you to their website because they had some beautiful, um, the same thing, but in a beautiful teal color. And they also did the same necklace where all of the strands were in this coral color, but I quite liked the variegated one. And then finally, um, I may or may not take this. It doesn't fit in with the colour scheme, but as you know, I do love it. This new dress that I just bought. Um, so I might just pop that in. It's not going to take up a lot of space as an extra evening outfit. And um, again, I've got a lovely little pair of earrings to go with that as well. So um, that's all the pieces of clothing. I've mentioned some of the accessories. So I'm taking my cream sandals and the gold wedges. They will do um, both day and evening for me. But then I've also got these um, slides, which I'm going to take with me that are really comfortable to wear. Um, but then I'm also going to take with me a pair of espadrilles because um, if we're walking a lot during the day, these are going to be really comfortable to wear. They're leather and um, they've got that little bit of a platform on them so they're not completely flat which I find if you have really completely flat sandals they can make your feet ache so um, these I think will be really good to wear and um, then of course I will be taking with me sunglasses because um, I can't live without my sunglasses I would definitely take those Kate Spade ones I'll probably just take my plain Gucci ones as well and um, then the red ones that I bought quite recently from Accessorize these were really cheap they were something like £12.50 but they're just that sort of little bit of fun um, on trend wear rather than the very sort of classic Gucci ones and then as far as my luggage is concerned, I will be taking my um, big red suitcase. I might not take the small red suitcase. It depends um, how this is when I come to pack it. If I can get everything in and it's not too heavy, I might just take the one suitcase. But we can um, check in too, so I have got that option. I'll probably take my red tote bag on the plane and um, with a crossbody handbag as well. Oh, and one thing I forgot to show you... Um, a beach bag which again is in the black and white and um, I have got a black hat as well so um, this I will use sort of during the day to take down to the beach or the pool and I'll pack that into my suitcase to go so that's it that's my holiday capsule wardrobe as i said when i get back i will um let you know how it worked what was good what wasn't so good if i wore something more than once or if i didn't wear something at all and i hope you enjoyed this i hope it's been useful for you and don't forget if you would like me to create you a holiday capsule wardrobe i'll leave a link in the description box below um, where you can do that i still have some spaces available when i get back um, to do a seven or a 14 day holiday wardrobe for you so thanks very much for watching if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed as always i would love it if you did and i will see you when i get back from my holiday bye for now